Hi and welcome to Real Magic Review, the best place on the planet for your unaffiliated, honest magic reviews. The only thing you're going to hear on this show that is biased is my own opinion on it, because basically I made it all myself, so you know. But luckily it's not just me, it's, uh, I've had some really, really lovely comments, really nice emails from people saying to keep going, to keep giving the reviews. I've got a pretty good idea that the more likes, the more subscribers we get, the more views we get, uh, the more stuff I'm gonna get sent to review. So it literally is more few, more views means more reviews. Oh, I knackered that up then. I was, I was gonna say like more views, more reviews. That's, that was my thing and I, I fucked up the thing. Anyway, so this week we are reviewing Mark Kirsten's tricks with your phone. So before we do this, Go and check out cardmagiccourse.com, please, cardmagiccourse.com. This is my card magic course that's been going since 2013. It's a huge library of card moves. It's kind of like the Netflix of card moves. Uh, everything you're ever gonna wanna learn from how to hold a deck of cards right up to bottom second dealing, and I'm adding to it every single week. It is growing week by week. Uh, we've got a theory course on it at the moment that's growing every every week, which is how to practice uh, all the theory around, around practicing optimally. Uh, and anything you like, because this grows with, with people's questions. So you ask me a question, I make videos answering those questions. So, so it really is a kind of bespoke experience and a coaching experience. So that's cardmagiccourse.com. Thanks very much. Let's get on with the review. So from Mark Kirsten, app developer and magician from London. This is, I think, about 27 pages. Don't comment on that. Uh, and four main effects. Uh, the big draw of this is going to be this this book test you can do on the, on anybody's website, which which we'll talk about in a minute. But what what the, the PDF really offers is this this sort of idea that you can take the knowledge, you can take the tools he gives you, and put your own stuff together. Now, when everybody says that to me, part of me goes, I don't want to put my own stuff together. I know it sounds really lazy. Don't get me wrong. I put my own routines together and stuff, but I'm not an inventor of magic tricks. It's just not my mind. So. It's kind of like video games when people say, oh, you can create your own levels. I don't want to. I want you to create the level and I want to walk around it and do stuff because you're cleverer than me at doing that. So um, so when it says that, I was like, mm. but then actually you read it, you realise what he's given you is, is the tools that anybody can, can make their own effects. So it's not getting that technical. So what are the effects? So the main one is this book test. Someone on your phone looks at any website they want and you ask them to choose any big, you know, considerable word you know that isn't boring like and other but a decent word and you get the word so it's the mother of all book tests if you know that on a phone on any website they choose and the next one is Siri knows your card so somebody chooses any card and it is literally any card you are Siri or they are Siri what the card is Siri kind of tells you what it might be and then sends you uh, that person uh, a message a text message with what card it is there you go. Joanne, HM. let me think Based on your interaction with Steve over the last year, I de imagine you deselect a black card. I'll finish analysing your messages and I'll send you what I am thinking. Check your phone shortly. And then you've got Siri guessing uh, toss coins. So basically, it's three coins. You get anybody to toss three coins and Siri tells them what coins and what the order of the coins were. Oops. Knackers. My God. We've got heads. Heads. Tails. Flip some coins, please. Sure. It's heads, heads again, and then tails. Boom, there you go. Uh, the other one this is this initial selection. So somebody, again, chooses any card. You look at the last photo on your phone, show them that it's their chosen card on the top of the deck with their initials on it, importantly. So there you go, four pretty strong effects. So there's plenty to like about this. The first thing is for someone who doesn't really get into the whole idea of doing tricks on the phone, when I started reading it, after the initial first bit, which we'll talk about in a minute, when when I sort of saw the method, I got I got that little you know you get that little excited kind of almost like a little giggle that rises up when you get all like, I want to do this because it, it's it's so cheeky and it's so you know that thing when you get a really nice method. Now the danger of that is obviously that we get into the method more than the effect, and that's that's a classic thing as we all know. Uh, but I did really I was, I was sort of in here playing with it, and I, I just thought it was really really clever. So that 
was the first thing. So I, I've, straight away you're going, well, you know, I'm getting that for this. It isn't like you're going to open it and go, oh, God, this is tedious, uh, which I think can be the case with some sort of more techie tricks. The, the tricks are, are solid, I think. There's not hundreds of them, you know. There's not, again, I just keep saying this about a lot of things. There doesn't seem to be any filler. You know, he's not filled out a massive PDF with full of stuff you're never going to do. Um, and you get these other things. And this is important, I think, when you get a PDF. You know, you, you have to download a few things in order to do the tricks. And obviously, they're free. So you go onto a Mark's site, you download the, the, the bits of software you need to do the trick, and you get free use of an app as well. So again, it feels like more than just a PDF. You're getting the ability and everything you need to do these routines. Mark gives you some food for thought. He gives you a kind of avenues that you could explore with this method. Um, and there is a lot of stuff when you start thinking, you go, wow, I could do some really, really interesting stuff with this. There's more to it. It kind of feels like there's an investment here. And especially that investment goes across to this Facebook group where, you know, you're going to have people when you have got people posting ideas and Mark sort of being there for support. So again, it's kind of, it's widening the net of what this is. You're not just paying $45, which is what it is for the 27 whatever page PDF, you're getting more for your money, more bang for your buck. So every trick, every PDF, every book has its challenges. Now for me, the first bit was the kind of, when Mark was explaining how it worked at the beginning, I did struggle to kind of work out kind of how it was all going together. Now that's because I'm not that techie, and don't get me wrong, I can build with websites and all that, but I'm not very good with the kind of, if someone explains something to me, I, it doesn't go in, I've got to learn by playing. So. You know, Mark, and for idiots like me, Mark points you in the right direction. You know, go and read this, come back, and then we'll we'll talk. <laughs> you know, it's that thing. And uh, so, all right then. Uh, so, so I totally get it now. So, don't worry about that. But if you start reading it and you're getting all like, mm, don't don't worry, just go on to the effects because you don't need any of that knowledge for the effects. Really, he talks you through the effects step by step, and you'll be able to do all of them without being that techie. And when I say that techie, you know, some people, if you're really an ultra kind of technophobe, and I know people like that, um, you may struggle with it, okay? But you're probably the sort of people that aren't that into doing tricks with your phone anyway, I'll say. If you do, you know, if you're into your apps, and you know, if, you, if you're my dad, and don't get me wrong, dad, if you're watching this, I love you to bits, but if I gave you this PDF and a phone, you might struggle, just saying. But, um, but you know there might be a bit of screen sharing going on. But uh, other than other than that, you, you're going to be all right if you just know you ray around your phone a little bit. I did struggle a bit with Siri as I always do because I'm a bit lispy and you know I you know when I phone people and phone businesses and they put you on that automatic you know say say what you want and it's a computer reading it no no chance there's just no point. Right, and no computer really knows what I'm talking about. But what I did do is go in and change the settings a little bit and I could change the, the Siri phrase that I used basically in order to uh, avoid using S's because S and F's, you know what I mean? So it gets all confuses, uh, confusing. But you can do it, that's all really, really simple to do. But I did, I, like I said, so I mean, we're doing the coin toss thing and I was saying to Siri constantly about the coins, you know, saying the right phrase and it was just, Give me a list of shops so I could go and buy coins out, which is quite handy, to be honest. But there you go. And the big one for this, for me, is this is for your iPhone. Okay, it is using the most recent software of iPhones. So two things: if you haven't got an iPhone, and I don't know whether there's going to be a version of this for not iPhones or not when the similar thing comes out of Android, I, I don't know. But it seems to me that it's all for your iPhone and the most recent update. So if you have got a, a, a phone that's a lot older. Uh, you might want to talk to Mark about that. I'm not an expert, but I'm, I'm feeling that you need sort of a fairly recent phone and you need a recent update to do these tricks. For me, these are probably more suited to more informal, small situations, except for the book test. You know, I think the book test will work well on stage. It might even work better on stage than in close-up because, you know, you're saying, look at any website. You know, those words are powerful. Any website you want and you're getting the words. So great for stage that, I think. Um, and the other ones with Siri, obviously, you're going to want a little bit of quiet. And hey, maybe that would be cool on stage as well with a microphone if you want to do that. And this is a pretty stripped down PDF. So it's not, you know, get the bells and whistles with a PDF. It hasn't got a really plush cover and it hasn't got loads of design on it. And that's absolutely fine for me. I don't really care. Um, but if you want that, you might want to think about that. It is, it's a nuts and bolts, tells you what to do the tricks. The content is great. Um, and for me, it's don't judge a PDF by its lack of cover. I'm on fire today, aren't I? Look at that. So there you go. Thanks for watching. Thanks again for all your lovely comments. And do like, subscribe, and share. Let's get the views up, not just for my own massive ego, but for the uh, for people to send us stuff, and we'll be able to we'll be able to review loads more new releases for you. 
Uh, go and check out carmagiccourse.com. Just have a look at it, you know, have a look at it. $9.99 at the moment a month, and that's nothing. And that's because I'm kind of still building stuff into it. But you know, you get the whole course that's been there from 2013 uh, and more for $9.99 a month. So go and check it out, go and have a look, ask me any questions. Have a good one. Um, see you later. Uh, the other one is Siri chooses a toying cost. That's not what's was toying cost? Toying cost. Fuck's sake. And you've got Siri guesses the toying cost.